Let's go. It's time. <clears throat> Good time to mention again. I want to make I want to make sure, and I'm going to say this a lot of times during this. This is a beta. Things will be unfinished. Things won't be working properly. Our run might get bugged. So understand, I'm I'm playing this to find bugs, to let the devs know about them, to give feedback. So yeah. Oh, this music. Look at all these options. Yes. I'm going to do real time. Real time with pause. Oh, enable turn based mode right there. There it is. Critters instead of blood? What is critters instead of blood? I have been told uh, by the devs, leave the difficulty alone to start with. So we're, we're not going to touch the difficulty. All right. I think we're set. Damn this music, dude character oh look at this stuff um man i have no idea we're, we're gonna be able to import our our own picture i think later i don't know what i want to be yet i'm gonna be this guy again because flash it look at this guy looks pretty cool can i lick the difficulty i can the bottom left one looks like you Oh, oh, thanks. Thanks. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> what is a Blood Rager? This is a class? Blood Ragers have an intrinsic power that seethes within. Like sorcerers, Blood Rager's veins surge with arcane power. While sorcerers use this power for spellcasting, Blood Rager's enter an altered state. Oh, it's like, it's like a bar, it's like a barbarer, a sork, a sorkarian. Interesting. Cavalier. These warriors, known as Cavaliers, swear themselves to a purpose, serving it above all else. Cavaliers are skilled at fighting from horseback. Okay. Mount. A Cavalier gains the service of a loyal and trusty steed. The mount functions as a druid's animal companion. Using the cavalier's levels as effective druid level. The creature must be one that he is capable of riding and is suitable as a mount. <laughs> cool. A beast rider. For some cavaliers who are simply skilled with horses or well-trained knights, the beast rider spends his life in constant pursuit of the most perfect mount, forming bonds with greater, more powerful, and more exotic creatures. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. Dude. Okay. Okay. <laughs> There's our Inquisitor. Oh, Kineticist is now a base. I'm pretty sure that was the... That was a DLC class in, um, in the first one. Oracle. Oh, 
Although the gods work through many agents, perhaps none is more mysterious than the Oracle. These divine vessels are granted power without their choice, selected by providence to wield powers that even they do not fully understand. Unlike a cleric who draws their magic through devotion to a deity, oracles garner strength and power from many sources, namely those patron deities who support their ideals. Instead of worshiping a single source, oracles tend to venerate all of the gods that share their beliefs. Interesting. Okay. Oh, arcanist. Arcanist. Some spellcasters seek the secret seek the secrets of magic, uh, pursuing the power to make the impossible possible. Others are born with magic in their blood commanding unbelievable forces as effortlessly as they breathe. Yet still others seek to meld the science of arcane scholars with the natural might of innate casters. These arcanists seek to discover the mysterious laws of magic and through will and expertise bend those forces to their whims. Arcanists are the shapers and tinkerers of the arcane world and no magic can resist their control. Well, that sounds awesome. Scald. I played one of these in Dark Age of Camelot and I loved it. Scalds are poets, historians, and keepers of lore who use their gifts for oration and song to inspire allies into a frenzied rage. They balance a violent spirit with the veneer of civilization, recording events such as heroic battles and the deeds of great leaders, enhancing those, these stories in the retelling to earn bloodier victories in combat. A Scald's poetry is nuanced and often has multiple overlapping meanings as he applies similar talents to emulate magic from other spellcasters. War Priest. Capable of calling upon the power of the gods in the form of blessings and spells, War Priests blend divine magic with martial skill. While clerics might be subtle and use diplomacy to accomplish their aims, War Priests aren't above using violence whenever the situation warrants it. Dude, there's a... My lord. So wait, are there also paladins? Huh. So I wonder how a paladin and a war priest compare and contrast. Oh, wait a second. Wasn't there? Oh, no, no, Magus. I was, I was going to say warlock, but I was thinking Magus. And then we also have a witch. The witch gains her power from the communion with the unknown. Generally feared and misunderstood, the witch draws her magic from a pact made with an otherworldly power. Meeting with that source, using her familiar as a conduit, the witch gains not only a host of spells, but a number of strange abilities known as hexes. As a witch grows in power, she might learn about the source of her magic, but some remain blissfully unaware. Some are even afraid of that source, fe fearful of what it might be or where its true purpose lies. Cool. Cool. What's a slayer? Skilled at tracking down targets, slayers are consummate hunters, living for the chase and deadly stroke that brings it to a close. Slayers spend most of their time honing their weapon skills, studying the habits and anatomy of foes, and practicing combat maneuvers. Oh, you know, I was going to be a ranger for my main run, but maybe, maybe I want to be a slayer. Interesting. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to pick Slayer now, because we might be our main one, but... Badass. Oof. So much cool stuff, man. Oh, this is Arcanist. Oh, I, I think I have, to, I have to actually click them. Oh, wow. And then, of course, by the way, what's kind of amazing is every single class then has, like, defining subclasses that can completely change the way they play sometimes. So this game has, like... God, dude. 50-plus distinct different ways to play your character? Maybe? Maybe even more? Oh, and there's... And, and multi-classing? Oh. Uh, <laughs> what's a Hell Knight? Uh, I don't know what a Hell Knight is. I think that was probably a... This one has six different ones. Spawn Slayer. Executioner. 
These professional killers are trained and used almost exclusively by crime families. Deliverer? Arcane Enforcer? Yeah, look at these. Each one of these completely changes how you get skills and level. Look at that. Crazy, man. Fantasy Mafia. Could be. Could be. All right, so I think just because I really want to try the new mechanics, I think I want to try a Cavalier. I, I want to see what it's like to ride a horse. Can we see, please? Can we please see the full list, even the great out classes? Oh, oh, these are these are classes that you can unlock later. So, duelist um, complements a rogue or bard. Duelist fight in the forefront alongside fighters, barbarians, and other melee combatants. Mystic Thurge. Um, these, yeah, these are kind of like prestige classes. You can see they have a lot of requirements across the top. Yep. Hell Knight Signifier. Damn, look at that. The spellcasting arm of the Hell Knight Order. They serve as faceless enforcers of order and use their magical powers to relentlessly root out and punish criminals to the letter of the law. They wear masks, often featureless, to mark themselves as impersonal agents of order, unswayed by empathy, detached from emotion, and dedicated to passing impartial judgment upon all lawbreakers. I am above the law! Um, yeah, that's kind of amazing. A normal Hell Knight. That's cool. An assassin. Eldritch Knights. So this requires, like, a good use of spells and, um, melee weapons. Stalwart Defender. This is, like, the big tank class. Stalwart Defenders are masters of melee combat, striving to prove that the best offense is a good defense. Student of War. Path of the Student of War is particularly enticing to martially-minded characters who seek to enhance and expand their mastery of skills. Students of War often pride themselves in studying topics that combat-focused types might not normally find value in, and their ability to draw upon unexpected lore and information has become something of a legend of their kind. Interesting. I can't, I can't actually click on these to look at their, their thing, unfortunately, but cool. Uh, how do I, there we go. Oh, I can just click in, okay, cool. Arcane Trickster. These were incredibly good in Kingmaker. Um, did I send out the Steam notification? I did. Yeah. Mm hmm. Dragon Disciple. Pretty cool. Hey, Sympathetic Lurker, thank you so much for your 10 gift bomb, my dude. Thank you so much, bud. An Aldori Sword Lord. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so we're going to try Cavalier. I'm kind of liking Beast Rider. What is a, gen, a Gendarm? Okay. Knight of the Wall. And a Standard Bearer. Oh. Okay, we're gonna be a beast rider. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dwarf. No. Halfling. Yo, nice eyebrows, dude. Oh my God, yes. Yes. Half elf. Orc. Asimar. Nice. Like the golden beard, my dude. Tiefling. Nice tail. Oread. Dampir. Oh, vampires. And Kitsune. Oh, ho, ho, my God. Look at that. Oh, it's happening. Furries rejoice. It's happening. Um, okay. Let's try. 
Let's see. For for this, I know I voted. I actually voted for the rat people too. Yeah. It's definitely consumed. Plus two dex, plus two intelligence, minus two strength, or plus two dex, plus two charisma, minus two strength. Oh, I don't want to minus two strength. I was going to use like big ass smacky smack weapons. Um, maybe I won't be consuming to start with. You try half orc. Mm. Asamar. Let's try half orc. Let's be a half orc dude, because that that's kind of because we're gonna be a beast rider anyway, right? Oriads are humans whose ancestry includes a touch of an elemental being of earth somewhere along the line, often that of a shaitan genie. Stoic and contempla con contempla contemplative, Oriads are a race not easily moved. Because he's heavy, because he's a rock. Um, yet almost unstoppable when spurred into action. Oh, slow movement? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try half orc. Let's try half orc. That'd be fun. Half orc beast rider? It just kinda it just kinda makes sense. Uh do we have like a oh, we need like a lot more of these, dude. I guess that I guess that's us, but yeah. All right, let's see. We'll do like 18 strength. We need a lot of con. Um, so we need some dex. Crucial bonus will be strength. What else do we? Well, what? Ah, see, I have no idea what. We're, we're going to do a lot more planning for our next game. Uh, our next round, for sure, but... He's pretty wise. I'll make him, we'll give him some wisdom. And he's a very charismatic. Let's do 50 decks. There we go. Okay. Cavs need wisdom? Do we? We don't have the little thing next to it. We'll see. We'll see. Skills! Uh, athletics and mobility. We'll make this our persuasion character. And knowledge of world. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Now we get, how many of these do we get? Oh, we get, we get one. Okay. Um. Easy selection, right? All right? Thankfully, this is the first one, so we don't have a lot of stuff. We probably want a weapon focus. I kind of want him to use like a spear. Like a... A long spear. And look at all these different weapon types. Good God, dude. A trident? Um, maybe a halberd or a polearm? Do you have Halberd? You don't have Halberd. Got a Glaive. Glaive is pretty cool. What exactly is a Glaive again? Like, what's the actual definition of a Glaive? It's a sword on a stick. <laughs> Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. It's a sword on a stick. I like that. Okay. Um, I can, I can work with that. <laughs> Let's do that. This sounds badass. I like swords and sticks. Uh, background. We were a wanderer. A wanderer hunter. What is our order? Yeah. Thanks, babe. Now, is this actually going to change stuff? Oh, God, it totally is. Um. Oh, dude. Order of the cock. As in display. Nice. Braggart. Okay. Order of the Lion. Lion's Call. 
and for the king. So that's kind of like some, some shouts. Order of the Shroud. Spiritual Shield. Oh, that, that's a charisma thing. So having a high charisma cavalier could be cool. That's not really for us. Order of the Star. Short prayer as a free action, filling him with confidence in his abilities. At any point in the next minute, he can receive a confidence bonus on his next ability check, attack, roll, saving throw, or skill check equal to his charisma modifier. Wow, seems like charisma's kind of important. Order of the Sword. As he maintains a selected alignment, he will receive a plus two morale bonus to one saving throw of his choice. Mounted Mastery. Ooh. Okay. I think we'll do Order of the Sword. I mean, we are using a sword on a stick. So. Yeah. Our tactician bonus feat. Let's do precise strike. Our mount. Oh, man. Okay. I kind of want to ride a Smilodon. I kind of want to ride a Smilodon. Although Bear could be pretty badass, too. Uh, I'm doing a Smilodon. Do we want a Mastodon or a Smilodon? Mastodon could be pretty badass. A boar? That Dude, these are all cool. Are you kidding me? Is the Mastodon the dino? We're doing the dino. Alignment? Right now we're going to do neutral good. Because we don't know what's going on yet. He's left-handed. He's a tall, skinny bro. So much, yes. We do it my way. I am superior! Time's not waiting. A solid plan. You're done for. Strike as one. Burn! Slice! Behead! I'll carve my name onto your flesh. All right, before we get started, um, my lunch is done. I'm going to run grab it real quick. I'll be right back. This is going to be fun. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in just a sec. One sec. I got my chicken tendies. I got my beta. Be good. Yeah. Is that us? Uh oh. I've already failed the tutorial. Hey, somebody, we got a wounded fighter. Can we get a healer over here? Why, why would you look at this? But why would you drag a wounded fighter into the middle of the festival square? Couldn't it be carted off somewhere else? Like, oh, I don't know, an infirmary? Or an accom accommodating ditch? Wow. Darren, kind of a dick. Holrun. Make room. Everyone step back. Now, what's the matter? What happened to him? You hear the stern voice of an elderly man, but you're so weak you can't even turn your head to look in his direction. Huh, the wound looks nasty. Who did this to him? Demons, prelate. We found him barely alive outside the wall of Tenebris. Tenebris? The walls, you say? The enemy doesn't usually stray so close to the city. We must fortify the defenses and you hold fast. Don't die. We'll see you right. Don't die, chat. 
Get you patched up now, but first, you there, guard, take his weapons. Bearing arms is not permitted during the festival. Wounded or not, everyone must abide by the rules. He can get his things back after the festival. Oh, Inheritor, leader of our troops, the sharpened edge of our blades and the unyielding strength of our armor. Iomide, I beseech you, grant your mercy, heal his wounds. Let me die. <laughs> I won't give up that easy. Over here, that's the Crusader's spirit. Oh, hey, girl. Ordinary healing magic is having no effect. Someone call for Terendelev. Rendelev. You, there. Yes, you. Stop dithering and gopping. Gopping? And make yourself useful. Go and get Terendelev. Prelate, of all the... Have you forgotten that you're speaking to a lady? I'm not a lackey to be ordered about. I'll get her. Terendelev. Has anyone seen Terendelev? Says Sila. Be quick about it before it's too late. The old man leans over to you. Now, who are you? I don't remember seeing you before, and I have an excellent memory for faces. Oh, I wonder if this is a choice. I'm Ko. It's the first I've heard of that name. I get that a lot. Who are you? What's your business in this city? Lots of ladies around me? I know, right? My lord. My dear prelate, please, for the sake of the festivities, leave this poor man in peace. He has been through enough already. Go on. I'll take care of him. Huh. All right, as you wish. You are a protector and a dragon at that. So I shall defer to your wisdom. But be on your guard. I've been informed he was wounded near uh, Kenebris. That means the demons are prowling just outside the walls, and the city is crawling with their spies. Others may be able to relax on this holiday, but not you or I, not the defenders of the city. Muttering discontentedly, the old man walks off. 